Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. I discovered the Chem Collective through a message from uh, via the Gameful group. Gameful. Thank you to Miss Regan for this. Um, there is. Uh, I went ahead and checked. <coughs> actually, Chemistry Mahjong. Well, we'll go to that maybe later. Chem Chem Collective. Here it is. Chemistry Collective. Uh, Carnegie Mellon. Uh, Carnegie Mellon uh, National Science. Defense League or National Science Digital Library, National Science Foundation. All I can say is, wow, um, very challenging. N not only for myself, well, mostly for myself because I'm not a chemist, but the tools are quite compelling. And uh, one of the things we want to go ahead and show you is running the virtual lab. All right, um, my Java is out of date so I'm going to run this time and loads the Java and there's lots of instructions documentation etc so you want to take a look at this um, it's actually being up well, oh, it has been updated in a year um, which is a bit of a bummer but that's you know continuing cuts in science funding means that the world collectively gets dumber uh, so what we can do are various experiments. <coughs> uh, we can load homework, uh, tools, etc. And uh, the loading the homework, load a homework problem from the internet. I haven't done this yet, so let's take a look at it and see what happens. Ah, right here. Okay, so uh, default lab setup, step-by-step -step demonstration. Let's go ahead and take a look at that because it's going to show us how to pour fluids, etc. We can make this bigger? No. Can I make it bigger? I'm trying to make it bigger. Nope. Uh, demonstration problem. Let's double click on it and it should load a tab down here. Uh, purpose is to illustrate concretely how to use the main features of the virtual lab in this problem. Uh, double click on the solutions cabinet to display the list of solutions. Uh, solutions means, you know, liquids. Uh, double click on each solution to place it on the workbench. Note the volume of KHP, which can be found in the solution info window. All right, so um, we double click on that. And this is um, sodium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Sodium hydroxide. Hey, sodium hydroxide. All right, double click on that. And this is a molar uh, potassium hydroxide. Hydrogen, K is potassium, right? Hydrogen and P. I don't remember what P is. Guys, there's so much to know about chemistry. And I and welcome you, invite you to go explore the Chem Collective, especially if you're a chemistry major or chemistry student. Um, some really cool stuff here. And it's in a bunch of languages as well, which is also encouraging. Uh, so take a look, Chem Collective. Uh, if you have any chemistry buddies, friends, etc., turn them on and see if you can get them to make some training videos to share the wisdom. Because if you go take a look at YouTube, you'll see there is nothing but entertainment about the Chem Collective. Um, I've just been informed that P is phosphor, of course. Potassium, hydrogen, phosphor. So uh, thank you for watching, and go make the world a smarter place. Learn chemistry. Learn calculus. Learn math. Stop watching Lady Gaga videos. Thanks, and happy competing.